How to add live chat on Shopify, Shopify inbox. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about adding live chat onto our Shopify account in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the general idea of how all of these things work. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. Now to start things off, what we are going to want to be doing is we're going to come to Shopify and over here, we're going to go into our apps. And once you go into your apps, you're going to go on all recommended apps and we're going to go to Shopify app store from here. Now, once you go into your Shopify app store over here, what we want to do is we're going to go into search apps. And once you go into search apps from here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go up and search Shopify inbox. And once you do that, you're going to click on enter or you can just go with this. OK, it appears in front of you. Just go over here, click on install. And once you click on install, what that will do is it will obviously start installing your Shopify inbox into your Shopify space. Now, once your Shopify inbox is installed, what you can start doing is you can actually do a lot of things with Shopify inbox like you obviously can add live chat. But that's not the only thing Shopify inbox can be used for. You can use it for various different things and uh, it's a pretty fun thing to use. So here you can see, first of all, you're going to make sure that the online store chat is on. So for that, you're going to go into manage settings and it takes you to the chat settings of the inbox. So in chat settings, make sure that the online store chat is on. And once the online store chat is on, then there's the customization of everything. So it could be a chat bubble, it could be an email bubble, etc. Let's go with whatever you think looks best. Then the text could be it could be assistance, it could be chat, it could be contact, help, etc. We want to go with live chat, okay? So just click on live chat over here and there you can see it gives you the live chat text. You can add it anywhere. I'm going to add it to the lowest and we're going to add it to the bottom right section. And once you've added it to the bottom right section over here, from there, what you're going to want to do is there your greeting message. Hi, message us with any questions. We're happy to help. And uh, you can obviously add instant answers as well. So there's instant answers to tracking your order. Uh, there could be suggestions for your stores and all. So you could say pretty easy, pretty simple stuff to go ahead with. Now, once you go with these things, what we're going to want to do from here is we're simply going to go ahead and click on save and here you can see chat settings have been updated right so now once the chat settings are updated basically your live chat has been initiated your live chat has been started and you know what you were here for has been done so that's the first step that you're good to go with now moving on once you've done your live chat there's a whole lot of other features that you can mess around with as well so first of all, to actually initiate and to show you that live chat actually works, I'm going to go to my online store to show you how it actually is. And the uh, live chat obviously could be with uh, some live operators that you have in the back end, or it could be with, you know, maybe you. So I'm going to go, as you can see, you have live chat over here. Someone's going to click live chat. It's going to open this widget. So let's say I want to ask, uh, hi, I am having issues with ordering your hoodie like let's say someone writes that and they obviously click on next so before we get started please provide your information so that we can reply to you if you leave the chat okay so the person is going to add their information and now you're going to click on start chat now once someone clicks on start chat someone on the back end like let's say me will get a um prompt that a live chat is going on and as you can see it's going to tell you the new conversation is up and uh, obviously there we can see it gives us in messages that someone has messaged you in the live chat so it's going to take us to the shopify inbox store and you know when someone has initiated a live chat we're going to go to the inbox and over here we're just going to wait for things to load up and here you can see you can start having a conversation so this person said, I am having issues with ordering your hoodie. So you can open this up. It can be uh, obviously, hi, sir. 
I am terribly sorry that you are having this issue and inconvenience. Okay. And uh, you can obviously click on send and all. So click on send over here. Now, if we go to our store, look at that. So a staff member has joined. Typical response time varies. Now look at that. So a staff member, which was I, replied, Hi, sir. I'm terribly sorry that you are having this issue and inconvenience. So you can obviously go ahead and keep on having your live chat. And you can also see if the user is online and where they are right now. So this user is on checkout and they're having issues over there. And you can actually see what the conversation is on. So it's pretty incredible, pretty great stuff. And this chat is obviously open. You can also go in closed chats, but uh, open chats are chats that are actually going live. Okay. These are chats that are going in real time. So these are chats that you have to keep at higher priority, you know? So obviously go with the, the basic settings and uh, just add in the efficient amount of detail that you want to. And once you do that, yeah, you should be set to go with the, the basic working of all of this. So yeah, that's the general idea of how we are going to be, you know, adding a live chat bot to our Shopify using the Shopify inbox setting or feature. Now, although this feature is uh, pretty useful, you can use this for other cases as well, because the Shopify inbox can only be used for online chat. It can be used for other things as well. But for that, you're obviously going to need to get your inbox mobile app. And you can also use quick replies. Quick replies are basically, you know, pre-written messages, which are automated to reply depending on what the person or personnel have asked. Okay. So just uh, make sure to get quick replies in as well if you want to. But yeah, that's the general idea of how all of this works. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family and uh, i hope you all have a great day so until next time i'll see you later and goodbye